Hey guys, today I'm going to, well, first of all, let me introduce my other cat. She's been in the hospital for some time, and she is not super happy. So this is Lily, after Liliana. Um, <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be making videos. I want to talk about $80 for sealed, or $40 for draft. Um, that is the price that my locals is charging for modern masters and in my the price support is one pack goes in essentially they're charging ten dollars a pack and you pay forty dollars for uh, draft and then the prize pool is you know out of a pack everyone gives a pack so it's not tremendously good right now and I wanted to talk about like how you know some stores are overcharging. Four dollars a draft with price support of one pack a person isn't as bad as some stores I've seen. Um, some other stores in Houston are fifty dollars a draft and same one pack price support. So it kind of the, the demand is not actually there in Houston at least. People do not want to fire off. I mean, you have to understand, $40 is a lot of money um, to be drafting. So it's not like a $10 or a $15 draft. So $40 is a tremendous amount of money. And $80 for sealed is incredible. I can't imagine paying $80 for a magic event that ends, you know, it, it just doesn't seem correct to me, um, given how much a pre-release costs. And you might say, oh, you know, that's justified by Bond and Masters. Let me tell you how much exactly uh, distributors charge for Modern Masters, in case you guys wondered. It's $145, 135 to $145 for a box. That means the stores are doing extremely well if they can sell it for you know $10 a pack or with price support. And so I just feel like sometimes stores get a little too, I totally understand the stores need to keep their lights on. My friend Graham actually owned a store uh, when it was like Groovy Geckos, Phoenix Games Reborn, all that type of stuff. And I completely get it. You have to make your profits, but at the same time, don't say it's like a super great deal. Like, don't like pretend that you're doing the players a favor with a $40 draft with minimal prize support or an $80 steal with minimal uh, prize support because you're really not. And in my opinion, the expected value is very low in draft because you have to draft money. You're paying $40 um, into, you know, into a event. How can you not draft money? How can you not like ha draft money? Cause you paid 40 or even $80 to be there. Um, it is impossible for you to pass off a gorge. So it's impossible for you to actually get a decent draft experience in my opinion, just because no one's going to pay $40 and pass you a Tamagorf, right? Or if they pass you a Tamagorf, so Tamagorf is actually not very good in limited. And Bob is not great in limited either. But if they pass you a Tamagorf, you can be sure that you're going to take the Tamagorf, right? Even if it doesn't fit your deck. And you'll be like, oh, cr crap, this guy passed me a Tamagorf. So I think $40, $80 is very expensive for a draft. I actually would m much rather have a $30 draft and then have redraft the rares. So in the comment below, uh, leave a comment. In the comments below, leave a comment and describe what is your locals. Is your locals doing modern master events? Or are they not doing modern masters events? Um, what? How much is it to draft? How much is it to pay, play sealed? What is the price support? So my locals, forty dollars to draft. Um, obviously draft is free packs, and one pack into the price support. So out of a if eight people draft and you have a four two one one structure for prize support but that's after paying like forty dollars that's kind of um that's a lot um and i don't think that the whole idea of modern masters being when you kick it up to ten dollars a pack msrp that makes it very difficult for people to actually draft the set and i'm coming to that realization right now that uh, no one wants to pay forty dollars to draft it no one wants pay $80 to do a sealed event. Um, $80 for a lot of people, that's like, like if you worked at Walmart for $10 an hour, eight hours, that's your entire day of pay. 
to draft maybe cards that you might do well in or to open packs like I, I think that's the major flaw in modern masters for drafting and sealed um, that the fact of the matter is you cannot do more than one a week and you cannot even most people cannot even afford one and that's really you know I wish there was something they could do like a store owner or Wizards of the Coast could do about that but honestly I don't think they can say goodbye say goodbye goodbye